Hi, this is Neil from EA Media. I've been thinking about my career in cybersecurity the last little bit. Been in the industry for around 17 years now at, in cybersecurity, and I'm seeing to, starting to see more and more young people come in. And that gets me starting to think about my relationship with them. Anyway, that's what this video is about, ageism and cybersecurity. Now, before I start this video, don't forget to click on subscribe for this YouTube channel. That way we can grow the EA media community. So here's my question. Should how old you are impact whether you work in cybersecurity? In an industry where new attack vectors and approaches come at you in a steady stream and zero day exploits are something that are just a standard issue that every cybersecurity professional has to deal with. Can your age impact your ability to do your job? Or is ageism something that should even exist? I ask because CNBC had a story come out this weekend on ageism and because I'm 53 at the end of August, it got me thinking about my longevity in this industry. I've been in cybersecurity since 2000, roughly 17 years, and I've been in the IT industry since 1989 though you could say I grew up in the industry since I started to program in 1977 when I was in grade 7. Just from looking at the age of a person, there will be pros and cons. If I'm looking at someone that is relatively young, for example in their mid-twenties, my first thought is to wonder if they have the experience to do a job. But that said, we all started without any experience and grew into the people that we are. And someone that's young will have the stamina that I don't have. The older I get, the harder I find it is to maintain focus, so that's something that someone younger will have over me. But I have my experience over them. It also will depend on the job. Remember, no one just jumps into the most senior cybersecurity job. They start at the bottom of the ladder and climb their way up. So would someone that is 53 be patient enough and have enough drive to start on the bottom rung? Or would they even want to climb the ladder at that age? I know right off the bat that they won't understand how technology got to where we are today, simply because I've lived it and they haven't. Having not lived it, they won't understand the nuances of why, for example, Windows 8 is the way it is or how programming in JavaScript got to where it is. It's kind of like how knowing Latin will help you understand how all the Romance languages got to where they are today. How about having their emotions in check? Having not gone through the various different trials and tribulations of life, would a younger person not be as emotionally mature as someone that's been around the block a few times? On the other hand, you could say that the lack of patience leads to new ways of doing things that are more efficient. At the end of the day, I would guess that it comes down to the fact that there's a huge dearth of security professionals in the industry. I read a study back in November that said that there were 6.2 million security jobs, but only 5 million security people in the world today. So if we want to fill those positions, we have to be looking for those willing to do the job. Just realize that each person that you bring in will have their pros and cons. And also realize that those people will have to fit into your company personality. How would that 20-something crowd of young whippersnappers feel if their dad's friend came to work with them? Would they accept that? Or are they impacted by those seemingly weekly phone calls from their 84-year-old grandfather asking why he can't log in? Ageism can creep into every experience in IT. Me, I think I could still teach them a thing or two. But that said, that's why I'm writing this blog. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, take a look at some of these others that we have here, including these two that I've highlighted. Anyway, this is Neil Rarep from EA Media, and I hope that helps.